A few months ago, an anime adaptation of the action manga Battle in 5 Seconds After Meeting was announced. After looking into what it was about, I decided to read a few chapters ahead of its anime release to see if it would be worth watching. As a fan of survival game anime like Future Diary and Darwin's Game, it seems like this could be my type of series. Battle in 5 Seconds After Meeting is a manga written by Saizo Harata about a group of people that have been kidnapped by a mysterious organization who forces them to use the superpowers they've been granted to complete certain tasks. For the purposes of this review, I've read the first volume, which consists of the first 7 chapters, in addition to the first chapter from volume 2. The story opens up with the introduction of high school student Akira Shuriyanaki, a really smart teenager that loves playing games. One day as he's heading to school, a man covered in bandages wearing a trench coat gets out of his truck and damages someone's car, causing a scene. After making eye contact with Akira, he starts chasing him with murderous intent. Eventually, Akira leads him into an abandoned building to try to subdue him while waiting for help to arrive. The first chapter does a decent job of introducing us to the protagonist and demonstrating how intelligent and resourceful he is. Before his encounter with the bandaged guy, there are a few panels that show some girls from his school commenting about how smart Akira is. Chapter 1 as well as subsequent chapters showcase his ability to analyze a situation and devise a plan of action. After defeating the guy that was chasing him, Akira is seemingly killed by a girl named Mion, who is shown getting ready to get him at the start of the chapter. He awakens in what he initially believes to be a hospital room with nurses, but he starts to notice some things are off. Once they're sure he can move properly on his own, Akira is led into a room filled with people who are wearing handcuffs just like him. Chapters 2 and 3 serve to set up Mion as a terrifying threat, explain the current situation, and establish the rules that Akira and the other captives must keep in mind. Mion formally introduces herself on stage and explains that everyone there has been wiped from their family registers. Basically, they legally no longer exist and their friends and family believe they're dead. The captives, referred to as monitors or testers, are told that they're taking part in an experiment that will consist of different tasks. Another woman named Yan announces that the first task, referred to as a program, will be a duel between two testers. Each tester has been given an ability to use in order to complete the various programs. Chapter 3 also features the first appearance of several supporting characters, one of which being a wrestler named Shin Kumagiri. Aside from one line of bad dialogue Mion has with Shin, I think the author effectively establishes her as a dangerous antagonist for Akira and the other testers. Mion seems very girly and cheerful, yet despite her personality and the way she speaks, she can still come off as intimidating. After the captives are led to their individual rooms, chapter 3 ends with Akira learning what his ability is. The story doesn't really move much between chapters, but I don't think that's an issue given how short these chapters are. For context, the first chapter is around 45 pages while subsequent chapters are much shorter around 25 pages. Chapter 6 is really short and is just there to wrap up Akira's match and start the transition to the female protagonist Yuri Amagake. If the chapters were longer then maybe there would be an issue with the pacing but since they're shorter it's quicker to consume. Some people might not like how short these chapters are but for someone like me who takes a long time to read stuff I really appreciated it. The fourth chapter is another showcase of Akira's intelligence as he tries to figure out the motives of his captors. The chapter just consists of him simply reviewing everything he knows, what they were told, and what has happened up to that point. I won't spoil the discovery he makes, but it does make me curious as to why the experiment is being conducted. The one-on-one -on -one fights start in Chapter 5 with Akira's match against an upperclassman named Madoka Kurosaki. Something to note about this manga is that there is a 5 second countdown motif before battle and in between chapters. The handcuffs each character wears functions as a way to not only restrain them, but also seal their abilities. The light on their handcuffs will turn green and an indicator will sound to signify that they will be able to move freely and use their abilities after 5 seconds is up. While the idea of restraints that limit or negate abilities has been done in plenty of stories, the 5 second rule adds a unique spin on things. It could be used to make things more interesting and possibly add more attention to battles later on. There are 4 abilities used within the first 8 chapters which I won't spoil. Akira's ability requires him to basically deceive his opponent due to how it functions. This means that he has to come up with a strategy in order to use it and defeat his opponent. 
Chapter 5 establishes some possible limitations of Akira's ability as he logically thinks about how he could use it during his match. I like that the character is going to have to use his head in order to survive. The last chapter of Volume 1 focuses on Yuri, a teenager who seems to have extremely bad luck and keeps finding herself in terrible situations. She has grown tired of living with her mother who jumps from man to man and is frustrated by all of the unfortunate events that seem to follow her. I was surprised by how profane and short-tempered Yuri is given her character design. I like that despite her attitude, she is a very caring person with a good heart. She can't just ignore someone who needs help. Yuri desperately wants to escape her imprisonment so she can help her mother's boyfriend's daughter Lilia. Harata does a good job establishing her as a sympathetic character. The only thing that could have been done better is the reveal of what her power is in the following chapter. I think the reveal of Yuri's power could have been more impactful if the aftermath of her testing it out wasn't shown in the previous chapter. The first chapter in Volume 2 focuses on Yuri's fight against Kazuto Kiryu. I won't spoil why, but Kazuto is a complete scumbag. Her being forced to fight him is just another stroke of bad luck. I found Akira and Yuri's fights entertaining for different reasons. Akira's fight was engaging because I wanted to see how he'd trigger his ability and turn the tables on an opponent with a powerful ability. I thought that Yuri's reactions to Kazuto's creepy behavior was kind of funny. The interesting thing about her fight was how Kazuto was using her fear to stop her from fighting effectively. While her fight has a good conclusion that ends with a cool character moment, as I stated before, it could have been more satisfying if some stuff were excluded from the previous chapter. Compared to Akira, Yuri seems to be a more fleshed out character with a stronger, more personal motivation. Akira wants to shut things down and be free like everyone else, but that's really it. Akira treats the situation as a game and in a way, the scenario provides the challenge he wished for. At this point, he's just a smart guy who was bored with his life and wanted to play a game that could really test his skills. Of course, there could be more to this character that is revealed in later chapters. Characters aside, the art drawn by Kashiwa Miyoko looks good and they take full advantage of the space on the page. I didn't have any trouble with the organization of the panels and in general the dialogue was fine. There were what looked to be a couple of translation errors that messed up a few lines of dialogue but that can be overlooked since I was reading a fan translation and the mistakes weren't too egregious. As far as I know there isn't an official English translation for this manga so I had to read this manga on one of those scan sites. Overall, I enjoy what I've read so far and this looks like it should entertain fans of battle royale series like Gantz. B Tomb or Future Diary. If you've read this manga, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And as always, if there's an anime or manga you would like for me to do a review on or a first impression, consider joining the channel, donating via the PayPal link in the description, or joining the Patreon at patreon.com/fearnohate. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.